La Isla de la Plata. Ever since I first ventured to Ecuador in 2009, my dream has been to go to the Galapagos Islands, and I hope to finally visit them in a month or two. But there is a way to experience what it is like to be in the Galapagos Islands without leaving mainland Ecuador. Well, almost. Around 40 kilometers off the coast of Ecuador, there is an island that is a conservation paradise. This island is called La Isla de la Plata. In English, that would translate to the island of silver or money, however you choose to translate it. On this island, you can see some of the species that are only found there and in the Galapagos archipelago. For this reason, I decided to go visit La Isla de la Plata and see for myself what wildlife it had installed for me. From Puerto Lopez, a medium-sized motorboat took us from the small fishing village straight into the middle of the Pacific Ocean. The large swells kept us awake and observant of any possible wave that might hit the side of the boat and soak us. Luckily for me and my camera equipment, I was on the side of the boat that didn't receive any spray. After a relaxing, for me, but not so relaxing boat ride for some of the passengers on board, we arrived at La Isla de la Plata. Arriving at La Isla de la Plata is like arriving at Jurassic Park. You are greeted by tall grey cliffs that stand tall, while frigid birds soar high in the thermals created by the wind that hits the cliffs and pushes the air up and over them. Once we got onto the beach, I saw the most amazing congregation of crabs that I have seen in quite a long time. They were all at work filtering the sand and were so focused on their job that they didn't notice that I was filming them. It's species like these that I always feel should get far more limelight in wildlife documentaries, as they are so intriguing. Crabs are fascinating animals. I did want to spend all day filming them, but we had to make a move and hike up a steep hill to the western side of the island. Once there, I saw my first sign of bird life on the island, and to my surprise, there was a blue-footed booby that had made its nest on prime real estate, right in the middle of the path that I had to walk on. After taking some amazing shots of her on her eggs, I carefully walked as widely as I could around her and I continued my walk down the path towards the western cliffs of the island. On my way there, I found some more blue-footed boobies sitting on their eggs. At the time of making this video, it is November and the boobies are right in the middle of their breeding season and their eggs were busy hatching and many of the chicks were only one or two weeks old. I think for me the highlight of this adventure was to be in such a different biome. I felt like I was on the Galapagos Islands and it was such a great pleasure to witness so many birds sitting on their eggs just two or three meters away from the path. It almost felt as though they were too close to us or like they had been trained to be so tame when we walked past them. This is an amazing place to practice your wildlife photography or filmmaking skills. So if you are an avid birder or a wildlife enthusiast, I can highly recommend visiting the island if you are ever in Ecuador. Once our time was up on the island, we motored back to Puerto Lopez to end off an exciting wildlife adventure on La Isla de la Plata. If you enjoyed this video then don't forget to comment, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you on my next wildlife adventure.